This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. Okay guys, we're back with another Cicada video. Now I'm gonna show you a video in a second of a Cicada we'd seen at night, and it's a green one. But if you look at this one, this is a brown one. And you see how pretty his coloration is on his back? It's a very big Cicada. And look, it's all brown and different colors of black and brown on it. And that's very different from the green ones we have around here. So if you saw my other cicada video, uh, I talked about it. There are two types of cicada that grow, uh, basically are here in the United States. And one is called a uh, annual, which annual means that they appear every year. Now that doesn't mean that they're born every year. They're on a two to five year cycle. But a, a cicada like this one is called a periodical. And a periodical one means that they are in the ground for 17 years before they emerge and come out. And then once they emerge, they only live for a very short period of time before they breed and then die. And so this periodical one right here is, you can tell this one specifically is a periodical because of its coloration and its size. The smaller ones are usually the ones that are the annual ones. And uh, this little guy, we just actually rescued him. It rained here and I guess he got washed out. Because if you see right now, he's not flying. He's not even attempting to. Cic uh, cicadas love to fly and they'd, he'd be trying to fly for, uh, up to a tree for safety. And I think right now maybe he got a little soaked and uh, he hasn't fully recovered from that yet. So I will turn him free in a little bit and hope that he can climb up high in a tree and be safe. But because uh, remember on the ground, they're very uh, exposed. Predators such as birds and other animals can get them really easily. And there's a, there's a type of insect out there called a cicada killer. And it's actually a giant wasp that only eats these kind of bugs right here. And they'll go find them and sting them and take them back to their nest. And... Uh, so this little guy being on the ground, he's exposed to that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is a periodical cicada. I will show you a brief video of one from when I caught it at night. And uh, you can see the drastic difference in this one with his browns and blacks and the other ones with his greens. Okay. <laughs> all right guys we got crazy birds in the background but we're outside here with this periodical cicada and uh, if you look on this tree here i'm gonna turn him free you can see the shells from other uh, cicada that have climbed out of the ground and uh they they come all out around here like crazy if you look on this tree here there are a whole bunch right here and sometimes they'll even go higher but anyway i'm gonna put this little guy right here on this tree and hopefully he'll be safe and crawl up high Awesome. I'm so glad he'll be safe on this tree. So as we say, always keep it wild. <laughs> 